Do you suffer from delusional marine dreams? Do you spend all your time tying knots? Are you obsessed with sailing logs? Does your spouse call you a ho? Land ho! Then you might suffer from BWS. Boat withdrawal syndrome. Ahoy, Plucky! Yeah, that's definitely annoying. Hi, it's Megan and Alex. No, it's Alex and Megan. We have a story for you. When Alex and I first met, we bonded immediately over our shared dream of wanting to own a sailboat and travel the world. And over the last few years, we've had some incredible adventures with amazing people like you, Plucky. I mean, we have so much in common. You are from down under. G'day. How you going? We are from up and over. Go canoeing and go see a Sasquatch. No, that's Canadian. But in seriousness, you've shared a lot about the dark and difficult times you've been through. And throughout it all, you've managed to make the best of it. I have also had some very dark times in my life. I was sexually abused throughout my childhood. I felt like I was broken from that experience. And to this day, I still struggle with some aspects of it. I took up sailing as a way to learn self-reliance and resilience and showed myself that I am stronger than I ever thought I was, that I am capable of weathering what life throws at me. Sailing is, perhaps ironically, the safest, freest, and happiest I have ever felt in my life, and I want to make sailing my home. I, like you, also like to pay it forward and help others when I can. I would like to inspire other survivors of sexual abuse through sailing to help them learn firsthand that they are stronger than whatever happened to them. In spending time with you, James and Anna from Zingaro, and Rick and Maddie from Sophisticated Lady, Alex and I were irrevocably hooked. Sailing life is perfect for us. We learned so much from the day-to-day -day grind of what it means to own a sailboat that we want to share the sailing life with others as you have and empower people to change their own lives. To do this, we need a good, solid, go small, go simple, go now kind of boat. Here's why we're the perfect candidates. One, we have sailing experience. Two, we have references. This is what James and Anna had to say about us applying for freedom. Do that, get that boat. Three, we're Panamanian permanent residents. Four, we can take care of the boat right away. Five, we have local connections and we know the area. Six, we're a sailing vlog without a sailboat. But if you were to choose us to receive freedom, then we would make you a lifetime sponsor of the channel for as long as we owned freedom. We were thinking about making a figurehead in your likeness and putting it on the bow of the boat, or maybe just a plaque, whichever you prefer. One way or another, you'll be the patron saint of our boat and our channel. And perhaps most importantly, number seven, we vow to always have pineapples. You've been living our dream, and with your help, we would be honored to start our dream with freedom as fast as possible. In other words, please, help, help us get, get out of here. here. I'm Simon. I'm a sailor, a captain, a dive master, a craftsman, a programmer, a photographer, a data scientist, and an avid runner. I'm Stuart. I'm a sailor, a captain, a dive master, a photographer, a game developer, engineer, and also an avid runner. If you haven't noticed already, we're twins. For the past five years, we've been sailing up and down the U.S. East Coast. Just recently, we completed the delivery of a 50-foot catamaran from West Palm Beach to San Juan. During our travels, we have learned a great many skills on refitting and maintaining sailing yachts. We've done small projects to really big projects, but we've only ever really done so on other people's boats. Our dream is to sail the Pacific. We've only always been yacht crew. To make our dream a reality, we're going to need our own boat. We want a boat that is built like a tank. Any boat we own will be taken care of. The boat we sail will be going places, and we'll go for a once-in-a-lifetime epic adventure. Please, Please give, give us your boat. Lucky you mad bastard, it's the f***ing troopster again. Oh, now listen, I've been hearing disturbing stories about pods of orcas cruising around the med somewhere, picking on hapless and innocent cruisers. I'm not sure exactly where. South of Spain, Gibraltar. One of those Italian-speaking countries, anyway. Now, this is what I'm going to do with your boat, mate. 
and it turned that rudder into a chew toy, an electrified chew toy. Hi, welcome to my video. My name is Sabelo Zamini. I was born in March, which is passes water sign. I like water, I feel comfortable in water. I'm here in Zululand in the Riches Bay uh, from Ladysmith where I work at the internet cafe. Um, also visiting my friend who made me uh, learn more about nature and she also has a boat which inspired me to have my own boat and um, around here we don't, we don't oftenly get uh, uh, these kind of chances where maybe you can learn how to sail or do sailing but for me I want to teach um, other people how to sail and teach them about uh, ocean and the boats like, um, like for um, like my granny um, I mentioned to her like before that I'm going to, to my friend's boat then she was asking like uh, how we're gonna survive there is the light is the water is the is, how how we will live there then i started explaining that I, everything is gonna be chilled there i'm gonna be safe it's gonna be a bed there's gonna be a kitchen there's gonna be everything which you expect on your house is there already so life is much easier especially if you lack nature so it's it's awesome because you you will be connecting with the water, nature vibes, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, having this opportunity will, will be giving me a chance maybe to help others, maybe to, to, to teach them how to sail. Also me, I want to know how to sail because that is like a dream to me. And I know on a the boat there's a lot of work, uh, tying the ropes, tying nuts and no setting the engine making sure your house is like all good or like a, but 100 or perfect so there's load there's a lot of work so you make yourself feel safe on your on your own boat so to make it uh, look good or make it nice um, there's lots of work so I, I also know that it won't be just easy then you have a boat everything is running smooth it just flow on top of water it will be amazing opportunity to show my family or people close to me or anyone who's interested about sailing to show them that you can go to the ocean sail uh, use your boat be safe they have some nice time because um, like for an example, like for power, there's solar, there's everything. Because other people, they don't know that uh, you, you can bring everything you need. So life could be easier. <laughs> and also thanks for the opportunity. And also thanks for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Sabzi away. <laughs> Hi, Plucky. Hi, Plucky. <laughs> <laughs> So we are here to show you why we are your people. Yeah, you know when you are with someone that uh, makes you feel you can do anything, this person encourages you to try new things, to overcome your limits. That's what Martin is for me. And I know I've been that for him too. <laughs> yes, this one is the adventurous one. She. Uh, she got me out of a few things and introduced me to rock climbing. She's a rock climber of epic proportion. She loves nature. She loves to walk. She loves the ocean. She took on my love for swimming and became better than me. And loves the dolphins and everything that is around the ocean. <laughs> we got married during the COVID. We are brave ones. It costed me a lot to import this guy into Brazil. And that's where we are right now. But we are ready for changes and going to any other different places. Yes, now tell about your professional experiences and your skills.
my history is in engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, and I am a partner in a business in South Africa that builds underground transportation equipment, and I'm actively involved in the design aspect of engineering, uh, the physical components as well as all of the electrical design systems, hydraulic design systems, and then the ultimate manufacture and installation of the systems underground. Okay, so you just made a propaganda of your business. You have to make a propaganda of you, your experiences, okay. what you've worked. <laughs> For the last... 35 years I've been engaged in activities that are predominantly in the engineering field, electrical and mechanical engineering and manufacturing, then also in the polymer sciences divisions with the epoxies, polyurethanes and polyesters and that puts me top of the line to do boat maintenance, to do everything that's required on this particular project. And more than that he is very adventurous. He goes to everything that I invite him to come. He's an excellent diver. He's a rescue diver, actually. And he's a pilot. Those little bees in the sky, you know, that's what he is. <laughs> but yes, she's more than that. She's a healer. Um, my beautiful wife is um, a very spiritual person and she looks at the context of any situation. Yeah, so the. First and foremost real wisdom that we now share is that the most beautiful thing is just to enjoy the simple things especially that nature can bring us and to trust the flow of life that's what we do it's true it's uh, it's close to our doorstep we do have the resources she is the rich one um, part and parcel of the rules uh, are that we can do it and we can You mad bastard. What I'm going to do is start naked sailing. Yeah, naked sailing, a naked sailing vlog. Obviously, I won't be able to do it on YouTube because they're a pack of... In 2016, I finished the hard work of building up my rehearsing and recording studio. I was a spider in the net and I organized concerts weekly made people come together and create. I've made the acoustics in the studio perfect and it was super cozy, super nice air, just how I wanted it. But then one day when I came to the studio, the real estate company was on the door. The whole property was going to be demolished. But I still had this call and inner voice. It's now I'm gonna mix my love to the music with my love to the, the sailing and the ocean. I still had a lot of energy to invest I wanted to create something new. I was going to make a sailing circus. It wasn't the first time for me to get kicked out. Gentrification is really killing my hometown. So I wanted to create a place that was my own. The Sailing Circus. A platform for music and arts. With big dreams and almost no money, I had to be street smart and willing to add more time and energy. I found an old wooden sailing ship that has been left for the wind since many years. She was dirty and smelly and I knew I had to add an abnormal amount of effort for this crazy project. Uh, we took it around the coast back to my hometown, Rosenberg. It's been colorful and beautiful years, but since that day I have only been working. Start with renovating the deck. And it took me actually the whole summer. It looked brand new. A new again. skylight. Then the winter came, so I had to start looking for a new harbor. And 15, 16 hours sail to the south. Finally got the crew. One of the, the guys. Epileptic attack hit his head in the table. I checked on the weather report too windy. I said to the captain of the harbor, moving off my ship is gonna be a little bit delayed. I didn't check the weather report again. We were facing this storm in the night. Everything was moving. It was a mess. The gearbox stopped working three different holes in, in like a triangle. So I put it back in one of the holes. Made a big difference for the adjusting of the gearbox. It seriously damaged the gearbox. You take it out and it's big like this. It took me one year. I came back to Gothenburg. I needed to fix uh, a big hole. To, to fix that hole in the hull side, I needed uh, a raft. And then I found another boat. It wasn't quite damaged on the side, <laughs> even below the water. So it was floating thanks to many hundred kilos of concrete on one of the sides. And that boat was in Norway. In Norway, in one of these famous fjords. 
I needed to transport the boat back to Gothenburg, but before, I needed to fix the hole in the hull side. I fixed that a few days. Uh, okay, I want to try the engine that's around here. And I said, yeah, yeah, we can try it, yeah. And he started up the boat, and the propeller started, and directly. Not even a sec a mess with the propeller and, and the rope and some plastic thing he, he had built. And he said, oh, okay, yeah, well, Simon, if you don't take the boat from here in, in two weeks, I will have to take the boat up and make uh, firewoods. And a few days later, I came back, and the ice was starting to grow. Start cutting a hole in the ice, get in with uh, a bread knife, cut the ropes. Still, I had some preparations before I felt ready to take off, but every day, the ice was getting thicker and thicker in this fjord. Break the ice. Well, and I worked on that for a few years, and I, I was repairing and fixing, building this. This boat was going to be, like, my home where I stay while I'm renovating the big one. But now... The city are expanding and the gentrification has reached my beautiful harbour and the maritime culture are dying. My dream project of creating a sailing circus failed and I realize that it's time for me to find new ways. After seven years of hard work I still can't reach my dreams and I still wonder what's behind the horizon. I'm still hungry. I'm pretty confident about getting your hands on your boat mate. Please, help, help us, us get, get out, out of here. here. Finally finished. <sighs> Megan, it is I, Plucomedes, your patron saint. Good day. How's it going? Megan, I loved your video. Well done. Top stuff. I think my patrons want to see more, Megan. 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 Megan, Megan wake up. Huh? Plucky sent us an email. What? He wants a new video. What are we gonna do? I have no idea. We better get started then. We now bring you breaking news with Piers Pineapple. Peoples and patrons of the Pluckyverse, amidst the great sailboat giveaway, one couple stands apart. Megan Starling, performer, dancer, singer, sailor, and survivor. A young woman who in her childhood survived through unfathomable circumstances is determined to take on the sailing world and show that anyone can define their future. Alex Starling, a man with grit, gumption, full of dry humor, experience, and a myriad of skills to tackle any situation. An experienced filmmaker, DIYer, adventurer, and sailor. He now takes the plunge towards sailing life and all of the challenges that lie ahead. Together, they are the force behind Starling Trek, their YouTube channel about sailing and discovery. But their three-minute intro video is hardly a tell-all expose. We have questions, they have answers. We sent out our team to locate the power couple and get to know their story. Is that our door? Here's Mr. and Mrs. Starling, welcome. How did you know a life of adventure is for you? We started with road trips across Canada and the US, and we knew we loved to travel together. But it's by a great stroke of luck that we happened to end up as crew for Rick Moore aboard Sophisticated Lady and James Evanson aboard Zingaro. After spending time with them and Plucky and a bunch of other sailing YouTubers, we undoubtedly knew that this is the life we wanted. Speaking of the life you wanted, the beginning of your life was quite different, wasn't it? Yes, it was, Pierce. When I was a little girl, I dreamed of a life of happy adventures. Instead, my childhood was quite the opposite. From the age of four until I was 19 years old, I was repeatedly physically and sexually abused. Throughout this dark and hellish time in my life, I had no support from anyone and struggled to get through every day to survive. But I did survive. And before my 20th birthday, managed to escape at a very steep cost. I've been estranged from my family since, and I didn't have anyone to turn to. I put myself through college, working four jobs and getting buried in student loans. I met the first person I trusted there, fell in love, and got married a few years later. I thought I had rebuilt the family I had lost by being welcomed into his. And for a while, things seemed like they were finally going my way. We moved to Canada for his schooling when disaster struck again. 
I found out that he had broken his marriage vows and my trust. While I wanted to work through it all, all he wanted to do was divorce me as soon as possible. The day the papers were signed, I lost my family again. He took everything we had built together and left me homeless in the street with $200 in my pocket. I was back at square one and facing a very cold Canadian winter. When I met Alex, I was living like Harry Potter, literally in a broom cupboard next to a water heater for warmth. There were many moments in my life when I wanted to crumple up on myself and quit, but I held fast and I faced the storms as best I could. The only two things that helped me get through all of the dark times in my life were singing and sailing. Singing helped me to express myself when I felt I couldn't. And sailing helped me learn the strength, self-resilience and freedom I was so abundantly in need of. With freedom, I want to combine all of my loves and passions and share them with others. Sailing gave me the gift of healing. That's why together we want to create a program that would sponsor survivors of sexual abuse to come aboard freedom and learn about sailing as an empowering experience of self-resilience and strength. How will you winning freedom help Plucky? During the time we spent with Plucky, he warmed and melted into our hearts. We want to help him out as much as we can, which is why with freedom, we want him to be the sponsor of our upcoming sailing channel. We want to promote him and his adventures in our episodes so that our success will also forever be his success. And finally, what about the pineapples? Pineapples, pineapples, pineapples. Megan, Megan, wake up. Huh? Plucky sent us an email. He wants another video. What are we going to do? <laughs> I have ideas. There once was a captain who sailed the seas And the name of the bloke was Placamedes With freedom blowing on the breeze A sailing boat to be won <gasps> Now have the starlings come With their spirit and their sense of fun Freedom in the setting sun They cast off and boldly go As a brave young starling heard the call She knew that there would be a brawl A boat like freedom could change it all Her chance had just begun <laughs> Now have the starlings come with their spirit and their sense of fun Freedom in the setting sun, they cast off and boldly go The entries came, the game was fierce, but then a shining light would pierce Putting in blood, sweat and tears, we'll make that ship our own Yeah! Now have the starlings come with their spirit and their sense of fun Freedom in the setting sun, they cast off and boldly go We'll soon be off to Panama To fix up freedom to the point of awe Plucky would just do and ah Great work, top stuff, well done oh. Now have the starlings come with their spirit And their sense of fun Freedom in the setting sun They cast off and boldly go We'll craftily make videos We'll sail and sing and put on shows With freedom we will finally go Our journey's just begun <laughs> Now have the starlings come with their spirit and their sense of fun Freedom in the setting sun, they cast off and boldly go